to Reptilian Alien Games. Welcome to Reptilian Alien Game Dev, and today we're going to be going over Unity's third person character controller from the starter asset pack, and we're going to be learning how to switch out their character for one of our characters okay so first we're going to start in unity hub and we're going to create new project and we're going to pick the 3d urp and the project name i'm going to name mine um third person tutorial Okay, also I'm using Unity 2021.3.16 F1, and I re recommend you using uh, 2021 of some variety, uh, but you can use whatever if you want, but you may encounter uh, some problems that I don't, so if you want, for con continuity sake, I recommend getting 2021 of some variety. Um, and you're going to pick your location where you want to save it after you pick your project name. And we're going to hit create project. Unity is going to create the project. While we're waiting on that, we're going to open up your browser. We're going to go to assets. And let's see. We're going to get type in starter assets at a... Uh, assetstore.unity.com that's where you need to go and then in the search bar type in starter assets then this one the unity technologies uh, third person character controller starter assets right here it's right here it's going to say add to cart you're going to click on that and then it's going to let you open a unity but don't click that because unity is uh, still loading the project we just want to add it to our assets is all right now uh, okay, and then we're going to type in, actually we're not going to type, we're going to go over here to 3D, um, characters, press the X up here, sorry, uh, 3D characters, and sort it by free, and we're just going to pick whatever character likes our fans, uh, that we like whatever character we like you know what I mean whatever one you like uh, I'm gonna pick one I gotta find it first um, let's see which one do I want um, let's keep on looking I don't see it I think I know the name of the one I want to use. Yeah, okay. Let's use the Plague Doctor, I think. Okay. It's by Polytope Studio. And they'll say add to cart. You want to add that to cart. Uh, My Unity is open. So, I'm going to go back to the browser and I'm going to type in Open in Unity. So, you open the Package Manager. And right here is going to say Download, or it'll be over here if you don't have it downloaded already. And then you want to import it, like so. Just press Import. Okay, once that is in, we're in URP. Which, um, let's see. So we want to go to Assets, Polytope Studios, and okay, so it's this first folder. This is characters, low poly medieval characters, prefabs. Oh no, look, it's pink. Of course, it's pink because we're using URP, and this is made for the standard asset pack. So we're going to have to convert this material. Speaking of which, I am going to release a video of how to convert materials um, for URP, a more in-depth video, but we're going to lightly go over it here, okay? I think I'm going to release that full video this week. Um, so we got to go to Window, 
go to rendering, render pipeline converter, and up here where it says convert built in to your uh, to the URP, click on that. Click on built in to URP, and then check all the boxes. Okay, very nice. Now we're going to initialize converter. So this is scrubbing all our folders for any assets that need to be converted. And it pops back, okay, there's uh, 13 of these files, okay. There's three of those, but they're not checked. Don't worry about that. That's just, we don't need those. I'll show you what it says. These, don't worry about them, okay. Now let's hit convert assets. And bam, look at that. You got a beautiful uh, character in full color. Okay, perfect. Now let's go back to Window Package Manager and let's get the starter asset in here. And you're going to see why in a minute we didn't do that first. I'm going to come up to File, Save, Starter Asset. Okay. All right, down here, start asset, third person character controller. Uh, download it and then import it. And we want to install and upgrade the package manager dependencies. And it's going to do its little thing real quick. Oh, just while that's loading, we don't have to convert these. To, they're not going to be pink because it was made for your RP. Okay. So if you're using URP and you don't want to have to convert it, you could always type that into the search, uh, like building URP or something, or home house URP, and it'll uh, should pull up results of all the URP assets in the Unity Asset Store. But let's look at this, okay? So the third-person character controller uses the new input system, so we're gonna have to install the backends. So we want to hit yes. It's installing the back end that's going to restart the, the uh, Unity, right? Okay. It's restarting. Just minimize that. And we're just going to wait for it to pop back up real quick. Eventually, it will. <laughs> you know, you just got to believe. There we go. All right, so we need to type in starter asset once again, and then third person character controller. We're going to hit import, install, and upgrade the package manager dependencies, and then we're going to import it. And just give it a little time. And come on, please. So close, but yet so far, you know what I mean? Be nice if this would just run in the background and let me do stuff in the editor instead of freezing it, but you know, it is what it is. You got to use what you can use within the limitations they give you. Just grateful that we get to use Unity for free. Cool. Okay, so um, where is it? Let's minimize this. Starter assets. Okay, let's exit out of this. Click on starter assets. Third person. Go in the scenes, and we're gonna hit playground. But before we do that, I just want to go over uh, a URP scene real quick. So it includes a camera. A directional light and global volume. So this is the uh, post-processing stack, right? So you don't need to like the standard you need. You have to install a post-processing package, but this comes built in. Just wanted to mention that real quick, okay? That's what's nice about uh, URP. It comes built in. There's some other features to it too, and it just to me it just looks better overall. Okay, so we're in the scene, right? So let's just hit play and take a look what we got here, what we're working with. Okay, 
You can just move with the mouse, uh, the camera I mean. We can walk with W, A, D, and S. <laughs> I know that's probably driving a lot of y'all crazy. I'll set shift to run, space to jump, right? Cool. All right. Press escape, then press play. Now I'm going to come up in here to the character controller. Click on it. It's got all this clutter, right? If you just come up here to where it says toggle visibility of all gizmos in the scene view, and just hit that, and voila. Clutter free. Okay, we're going to drop this down under geometry. Armor mesh. So this is the mesh. This is the actual skin of the character. Okay? So this is what we're going to be replacing. But before we do that, we're going to have to go back to player armature, right click, prefab, and we're going to unpack this completely. Or you can press unpack. Either one should work. Um, let's see. But I just do it uh, completely with me if you're following along. Okay. So now we gotta find our character, which is in Polytope Studio. It's gonna be the first one, medieval characters, prefabs. Alright, we got a beautiful looking character. We're gonna drag in here over our existing character. Okay. Let's scoot that over just a bit. Okay, cool. Looks good to me. And we're going to right click this, prefab, unpack completely. Cool, okay. Alrighty then. We're going to delete this armor mesh. Okay. And then let's take a look what happens. Well, first, let's go to File, Save. You want to save and save often. Okay, hit play. And, oh, look at that. That's, we're invisible. I forgot. <laughs> My bad. Okay, take uh, PT Medieval uh, Plague Doctor, and we're going to drag that in under geometry, where the old mesh used to be. And we're going to get rid of this. We're going to remove this component. And then we're going to come over here on player armature. And right here on the animator where it says avatar. Okay. Yours will say, sorry about that. Yours will say Armature Avatar, because that's the one that comes with the starter asset pack, right? The third person one, and we need to change it to whatever your character's avatar is that came from the Unity Asset Store or whatever one you made. And um, so you'll click this under Avatar, and we'll pick the avatar for your character. Mine is the PT Medieval Plague Doctor Avatar. Yours will vary if you use a different one, but if you use the same one as me, the Plague Doctor, then that's the one you'll need. And then when we hit play, voila, look at that. Beautiful. We got a fully working character. And there we go. So that's all for this video. Um, I should have some videos coming up. And this week, maybe the next couple days, we'll have some more videos coming out. And I'm going to try to knock out a couple tutorials this week. So I want to thank you all for watching the video. And please like and subscribe if you found this useful or if you want more content like this. And you all have a blessed day. Peace. Like and subscribe for more content like this.